Hi guys, putting together a quick video today based on formulas at the request of some of our community members. Uh, if you're not familiar or you're not an existing Dundas BI client, we have a program called The Cube. The Cube is our VIP program exclusively for all of the great Dundas BI customers. It's a truly amazing place to come in if you just want to connect with one another, learn more about Dundas BI, and maybe even explore our forums. Lots of cool activities, education, and more. So check it out if you're not part of this. But you got to be a Dundas customer. We put out a challenge asking our members what you'd like to see in terms of content for this program. And one of the requests that came out was, can you do a deeper dive into formulas? Now, in order to do that, I need to cover the basics. So today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the formulas. And then as we go further, we'll create new videos digging into some of the more complex formulas that are possible. I'm Jeff. And this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So first of all, why are formulas important? Well, with the clients that I've worked with, usually the biggest reason is because you've got a closed system. If you've got a database like an OLAP cube, where you build everything and you can't really change it without getting a developer involved, or maybe you don't own the data, right? formulas are a really nice way to be able to augment what you've got on top of that. It's just a quick and easy data layer just to add more context. The other thing is, if you're a power user, you may not have full control over the data. You may have a developer within your own organization who, yes, could modify the database that you've got if you really needed it, but that can take time. So having a formula engine to come in here and allow you to augment what you're seeing can really help. So let's get right into it. This page here that I'm showing you, is our list of full formulas available within Dundas BI. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. So my goal today will be to just give you an introduction and to use some of the basic ones that most people would end up using on a day-to-day -day basis. But going forward, we will try to plow into more of these in more detail. It definitely worth doing. If you want to take a look at this page yourself, uh, dundas.com support. And it's simply a matter of doing a search for formulas and you'll find it pretty quick. So let's go ahead into Dundas BI and do an actual example with formulas. So what I've got here is a dashboard where I'm currently in edit mode. Now with some of the basic formulas, it's very useful for adding simple context to your dashboard. You can see here in this chart in the top right, I've got support tickets over time. And we've done a decent job of adding a form of context by showing you the previous year. So at least you understand the history alongside it. But oftentimes, you don't even have that in your data. So a really nice way to just give something is to go to formula, add a formula, and call the average function. As I start typing, you can see those functions that I showed you before. I simply click on the one I want, close the bracket. It's just like Excel, if you've done formulas there. And you'll see that I've gone ahead and added a new series. This is something that didn't come from my data. I calculated it on top of it. I've got an example here at the bottom with performance by sales reps. Now I see this a lot with some of the clients that I've worked with over the years. And they just show the values and seeing the numbers by themselves aren't nearly as useful as actually giving me some kind of context to what I want to see. With the sales rep by performance that we've got here, one thing you might want to show is a target. And if you don't have a target in your database, a formula is a very nice way to show that. Again, go to formula, and you can see target can really change the meaning of this chart, by the way. If the target's 50,000, everybody's hitting target, and that means something completely different than if the target's 250,000 and nobody's meeting that target. So just having that line in there can really help people understand the visualization that they're looking at. So in my case, my target is 130,000. So I can simply type that in, and Dundas will bring in a series for that. I can click on the series and change the chart type. So in my case, I just want a line showing what my target will be. Now you can also chain formulas together. So something that a lot of people do with sales reps is I might want to know when I'm at 80% of target. Sorry, I didn't mean to click there. Let's go to formulas again. And you can reference just by hitting the dollar sign an existing formula. So there's the previous one. I want to know what 80% of that is, so times 0.8. Say okay, 
and that will create a second series. That shows me where the line is for 80% to target. So as you can see, I'm very quickly contextualizing this data. You can also add states to this. So if you wanted to color these bars based on these conditions, you absolutely could. Now that I have these data points in here actually driving what these values mean. Formulas are just a very nice way to, as you can see, quickly contextualize some of the data or just to do a simple calculation. All right, this field minus that field. I need to know the gross margin or something like that. Now let's go back to that list of formulas that I showed you before. What if you need something that isn't on this list, something that Dundas isn't providing today? Well, this is actually an open API here. So if you did have a formula type that you want to add to Dundas BI, it's a matter of getting a developer involved and writing a plugin. So you absolutely can add new ones for quick reuse. You may have a formula that you use on a regular basis, take the time, create it once, and then from then on, it's a couple of clicks in order to use it. So definitely worth looking into if you've got something that's a little more common that you need all the time. That's the basics. That's where we wanted to start and what I wanted to give you today. The goal going forward is certainly to show you more complex formulas and just bigger examples of what you could do with these. So certainly stay tuned for that. But if you do have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. It's askjeff at dundas.com. And if you do want a deeper understanding of these formulas now, maybe consider having a demonstration with one of our solution architects who can sit down with your actual examples and work out problems together with you.